Welcome back to a very peaceful scene. This is kind of a serene room. I mean, we've got these board game pieces a little askew. And a random cigarette. I just don't feel like my character smokes. It's, it's in the future. People know better than that. Uh, we've got a weird galactic disturbance. A planet. And our unreliable ship. Also our bad bet. Does not look very cozy. I feel like after all these years and all these plans they've been to, they could have found a better pillow. But alas, welcome back. We're trying to get somewhere uh, somewhere new. I'm a little sleepy. We ain't got time for that. We gotta go to the unreliable... Ooh, navigation terminal. The groundbreaker is where we want to go. We're by Terra 2. An idyllic terrestrial planet. Halcyon's wealthiest elite living in its capital city, Byzantium. There's way more than two planets. This confirms that the game is a lot bigger. A lot bigger. Okay, so where were where were we? Not a festival we're on Typhon? Maybe Terra 2 has multiple locations? I don't know. We gotta go to Groundbreaker. We can also go to Phineas's lab, but let's take our talents. Oh, you can pick, okay. Oh, that is where Edgewater is, but there's also another city there. So multiple planets, multiple locations per planet, it seems like. Game's a bit bigger uh, than initially expected, Definitely. which is good. Ooh. Moonman says, hope you can see, or here you can see all the planets in the system. I mean, hope you can see. Be pretty hard to play if you couldn't. Uh, as well as some special points of interest that you may have discovered. You can fly your ship to any location you've unlocked. Though some landing bays require special codes and keys. Moving between planets is considered extremely dangerous, and all employees are encouraged to remain home or at work. Reach cool. The no load screen there. I mean, I'm, there's gonna be a load screen obviously when we get off of the unreliable. But Can we chat? yes, Parvati looking fierce. Hey, Captain. I heard that Groundbreakers got a real good engineer, a lady named June Lay Tennyson. Okay. I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her. If you got time to swing us by, I mean. Can look to upgrade I don't got your much skills. Experience fixing actual spaceships. I bet you a can of Borston beans. She could teach me all manner of stuff. Hmm. I wonder if it'll actually help our ship. Gosh, no, Captain. I aim to stay so long as I'm welcome. I figured June Lay and I could confabulate over wireless or by message. And maybe when we put into Groundbreaker, I could stop by to visit her sometimes. But only when you don't need me with you. Okay. Thanks, Captain. I'll be sure to make it worth your time. I wonder if that'll help Did you us. Want to uh, talk about something else? Not really. I wonder if that'll help us get. What's the word? Like ship upgrades or something? Remember that you are. Party selection. I'm gonna bring both of them. The vicar and Parvati. Looks like eventually we will get six companions. Right now we've got insured. two, but you can't dismiss them. So maybe the roster is six. Maybe there's plenty more than six out there you can just house six of them at once you can only have six brothers and sisters more than seven kids <sighs> too tough to deal with sorry for the yawns the game's not boring i'm just tired man i feel old sometimes getting tired but it's that time of year like it, the sun's going down a lot earlier it's starting to get a little colder just the the rhythms of the earth are like mm, sleep Actually, it works out in my favor. Getting tired earlier and getting up earlier is way better for your body and way better for productivity. So long as you're not tired throughout the day. Ground breaker. I like the little icon there. I want a pin of it. Give me some Outer Worlds pins. This looks pretty sweet. Like grease and unwashed bodies. Just as I remember. This dude kind of looks like he's in his pajamas, to be honest with you. Or he's wearing a tablecloth. Not quite sure. Um, what quest do I have activated right now? Parvati's quest? No. Um... Well, we can probably talk to the person Gladys on our way. Oh, customs inspection. Way. Okay. Identification, please. Done a lot of this lately when I traveled to Europe. Present Hawthorne's ID. Captain Hawthorne, you said. Oh, about to ruin well, my day. Apologize in advance. I'm about to ruin your That's day. not ever a good. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Okay. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. Seriously? But we've hardly been out of Edgewater long enough to get in trouble. Well, isn't this wonderful? The captain's done something to get on the board's bad side. Now, hold on. This isn't the end of the world. Probably. Um... 
Oh, thank the law. I could use a diversion. Tell me more then. Really sell it to me. You're not buying it, are you, jerk? Maybe. Um, Captain Hawthorne abducted me and made me work his ship for free. I won the ship at a poker game. Please, you can do better than that. Where's the drama? Um, not fond of that story. It lacks dazzle. What else have you got? I like where this is headed. What happened to this uh, vile kidnapper? All right, he's gonna buy the most. Uh, not really buying, just engaged by the most outlandish story. He disappeared in the night. You must feel terrific. Good for you. <laughs> You'll want to take it up with Udom Bedford, our board representative here on Groundbreaker. His office is located along the starboard wall of the promenade. Shines like a Byzantium commode. You can't miss it. Udom? All right. Just the opposite. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations here. Surely, this must be some sort of mix-up. They must have a real big bee in their bonnets, then. Everyone knows you don't trifle with Groundbreaker if you want to get your goods on time. If I had to take a guess as to why, you probably riled up the wrong petty board bureaucrat. A man named Udom Bedford. Gotta be a mistake, but... Not gonna lie, you're in a pickle. But uh, Udom's an uh, interesting guy. Might be y'all could come to accords if you play your cards right. Huh. Records show this ain't the first time your ship's been impounded. Seems to get cleared up pretty quick. You might not be in this pickle for long. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? Seriously? You're gonna ask me for a favor after you tell me my ship's impounded and I can't even pass? <laughs> Wanda Dorset over in sickbay? Tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. Yeesh. Go uh, her shipment? A handful of Sam cleaning units retrofitted for surgery. I don't know much else. I stopped listening when she started yelling. Okay. Much appreciated. I don't know why you're asking. Is there anything else I can help? Why you? are you asking me for favors here, buddy? Um. The fence. You'll find her in the rest and go on your left when you enter the promenade. The rest Make and go. Make sure you bring an empty belly. Okay. He's friendly enough unless you speak ill of the board. Get the sense he doesn't care for Groundbreaker much. Not that he would, being a board man and all. He's our liaison. All right, cool. Sure thing. Thanks for the info, dude. Be seeing you. All right. Well, at least I can pass. That's good. June lays over there. Board man. I picked up this weird signal the other day. It was coming from Monarch. Yeah. Here we go again. No one lives on Monarch. It's a wasteland. You're here. No one things. lives on Monarch. I'm excited to see what this place looks like. Holy cow! Try not to be distracted by the glare of the That's so cool. Part of this game kind of reminds me of like um when Prey 2 was uh, gonna be Prey 2 and not the new Prey, like the it was much more of like a space Oh my god, it's the moon man. Pause everything I was saying. The rest and go can wait. Moon man, I need I need your helmet. Oh my god. Sorry about the heat. Chief Tennyson will get the radiators fixed soon. Of course, this heat sure makes a zero G brew extra refreshing. Need this hat. It's an ale that's good for what ends. Can I just take you out back and you oh, know and make you disappear? It's not the best choice. It's spacer's choice. Taste the freedom. You are not selling it. A lot of slogans to keep track of. Sometimes I forget. But I need your helmet. Please. I'm bound to satisfy headgear-related inquiries. Please send any complaints to our consumer care headwear division. No, I just I just need it. Where can I get a hat like yours? You would never ask if you knew <laughs> what it's like in here. Okay, can I just have it then? I mean, why anyone can be a Spacer's Choice Consumer Relations Choice Specialist... Just keep your nose clean and aim for the moon. I used to have this old-fashioned toy called Shoot the Moon. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it. It's, like, it's so hard to describe. Thin wooden board, two metal sticks on top, and there's little, like, point holes in the wooden board, like, different slots for you to drop the ball in, and you're trying to, like, it's so hard to explain. You're trying to wiggle the ball up the metal sticks into the 
points. If that makes any sense. Probably not. Google shoot the moon old fashioned toy. Um Alright, what do you got? What do you, what are you selling? You can I buy your hat? Your merchant skill is equal to the value of your best dialogue skill. Use and negotiate prices. That's cool. It's kind of a cool nifty thing. Oh, oh my gosh. He has it. It gives you a lie bonus. It's also just sweet. Why are these different prices? Why is the Spacer's Choice lie plus five, level seven? Why are they different? I don't really understand. This one has something extra. I can't quite tell. There's a better sell value? Oh, maybe it's pristine and that's why? Dude, I've got 3,700 bits. I'm s definitely buying this. I, I have to. We have to. You gotta have it. You, you gotta have that. Um, restricted stock. Cool. Decrease the no noise made while moving. Increases the range of interactable objects. Increases your range weapon skill. Um, I kind of like decreased noise. It's a nice armor mod. Nightingale step. Let's buy that. Um, I can, can I sell off my junk? Do I have junk to sell? Yeah, dump all this stuff. Cool. Um, light machine gun looking pretty fly right there. Uh, anything else we need? I haven't really needed much of anything. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. Um, heck, yes. We are absolutely the fiercest in all the land now. <laughs> Look at that. We've achieved greatness. I've got the Moon Man helmet. It, it, it can't be much better than that. It just can't be. Oh, man. <laughs> Are you guys proud of me? I, I kind of want to buy all of us Moon Man costumes. That seems like it'd be pretty fun. Um, Junte, Jun Lei, Jun Hei is way over here. We'll go see her before we're going to go and see... Um, what's her face? The main mission woman. Go back to Byzantium. Go back to Byzantium. Auntie's kitchen just piling up the XP. How do we get... Is she in the kitchen maybe? No, she's literally back here. Ike's armory discovered. Groundbreaker promenade. Is there a second floor? Halcyon. Ooh. What's up? Thought there'd be more machinery. Must be housed on a sub. Junlei Tennyson. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. I heard we had someone in impound. Wish I could help. I gave the bureaucrats a mode of authority over freight traffic, and it rankles them good when I challenge it. Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Mardits, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. Please become best friends with Parvati. That's my only mission here. Ain't that always the way? So what brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer is just passing through. <laughs> just passing through. Interesting. The powers that be paint an ugly picture of Monarch. Critters and such. Maybe someone in the promenade can get you the right weapon for the job. We see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprats. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different, so welcome aboard. What? I didn't think you just... Parvati, is it? That's a lovely name. What can I do for you? I was just thinking, I haven't got much experience working with actual, real spaceships, Miss Junlei. Uh, uh, Chief Junlei. Junlei is fine. I'm wondering if this is to, like starting to turn into like the first romantic encounter of the game. Um, okay. Since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if, well, maybe you could teach me some things. I could message you later, maybe? 
I'd be happy to make the time, Parvati. You can ask me anything. She's very dirty. Like, literally, but it's all good. Wow, great. I I'll do that then. Messages. Later. Oh, your your name's pretty too. I should have said yep. sorry. I don't know why she I like it. Either she's like Honest. a hero figure to her or they're sorry. about to fall in love or something. Nice job, Ravi. I couldn't have done it without your moral support, Captain. Hey, hey, hey. Now, if there's nothing else, there are other parts of the ship begging for my attention. Yeah, I don't know if you got any more info for us. Um, oh, the well, yeah, tell, tell me about the heat. Someone else mentioned that. Moon Man. Groundbreaker's radiators need replacement parts. They're dumping superheated air into my ship. Only the board has access to new parts, and I won't let them swindle me into a corner. Hmm. They want us to sweat, thinking that'll soften me up for a bad faith deal. If you'll excuse me, they can go fuck themselves. Hey, hey, hey. The board isn't helping and my resources are spread thin. If I don't get those radiators back online, Groundbreaker, everyone aboard, will be cooked alive. Okay. You need a contract to work this out. I'm available. Hey, hey. Reasonable, huh? That's the best news I've heard all day. Picking up side quests is left According and right. to my grandmother's old schematics, the parts we need should be in the back base. I have to probably do some sneaking and maybe some shooting. Sorry, I forgot not everyone knows this ship like I do. The back bays are on a lower deck, long abandoned, and a haven for miscreants now. I have. One of my engineers, plus a small security detail. They didn't come back. Hmm. I can't afford to lose any Mardits on this job. No offense, but a freelancer like you is more dispensable. Nice and pragmatic. Thanks for understanding. Good. Once you've obtained the parts, we can proceed to the next phase of repairs. Sounds good, dude. All right. Um, the back bays are in need. That's considered this stealing. Oh. oh. We interrupt your kind of looking like a relative of the villains from Borderlands 3. Whatever their names are. Um, let's go back to the promenade. I love my head. Um, we've got Wanda Dorset in the sick bay. Where, where you got in the sick bay? Let's go to the sick bay real quick. And then we'll head from the sick bay over to Gladys. I think we still got to talk to, obviously. Um... Anywhere, you hear? You can't keep me out of there. Please don't make a scene, Dr. Fenhill. Whoa. Can't say I've seen you before. I take it you're a freighter, Captain? If you're here to better yourself, you'll have to wait. We're having a spot of trouble with our delivery service. That's what I'm here to tell you about. He must be referring to Erion. I'm sure the fool's gotten himself into another scrape. I'm beginning to wonder if I'm ever going to get my service mechanicals at this rate. Probably not. I'd be grateful if you'd spare the time. We need his delivery soon as yesterday. Last he told me, he was taking a shortcut by Scylla, an asteroid in the Charybdis cluster. Charybdis is a cool looking word. <laughs> I the adventuring type. All right, we got you, man. You look out, though. The place is probably crawling with outlaws. Sounds good. Um, let's go back to the, uh, the rest and go, probably like a little inn, a little motel here. Ooh. Can we rent an upstairs room? <laughs> Can we rent an upstairs room? Maybe. Are you, you're Milo. What is this? Probably a cash register, but where's your leader? Where's Gladys? Goofy Bottom or whatever. That's Ephra Ephraim Maywood. I'm not trying to, uh, start any trouble, so let's... Nope. Where are you at? In here. Okay, cool. Didn't want to like open up someone's room that wasn't, you know, that was like a, a private residency. Bless my heart. Dude, she's old. A stranger come knocking on a poor old woman's door. You here for a particular reason? Or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are? She's really old. Made without a single natural ingredient or an oven. Just like store bought. Yeah. Those have been the height of illegality since Stellar Bay turned their noses up at the board. You and I could be thrown to the void just for discussing such a transaction. Lucky for us, Groundbreaker's a free port. We're outside of the board's control. For the time being, at least. Now, I only have the one nav key. And they're hard to come by these days. 
it won't be cheap. If you find yourself lacking in the bits, I might have an opportunity you'd be interested in. Hmm, how many bits is it? 10,000, holy cow. Phineas, that old kook. He was quite the dancer back in his prime, did he tell you? Real light on his feet. <laughs> Real light in the wallet, too. He still owes me a small fortune. Laws, maybe I should charge you double. Wow, guess we're not getting a discount. Opportunity quest it is. Well, I find I'm in need of a ship captain with a little moral flexibility. Might be this could help out the groundbreaker, as well as earn some bits. But if you've got qualms... I mean, I need your nav key, so let's let's do it. Or what are the jobs? Might want to acquaint yourself with Junlei Tennyson, groundbreaker's chief. She's been yeah, I got that. You'll find her fretting in engineering. I'd say she's a sweet girl, but law for fen someone <laughs> call me a liar. She didn't seem that bad. I don't know, ma'am. She seemed pretty neat to me. Well, aren't you sweet? And just her type, too. What? What's that supposed to mean? Forget I said anything. All right, old lady, tell me about the opportunity again. Yes, dearie? Ain't that just a treat? So, you know Edna, over in engineering? On occasion, she'll pass along transmissions I might find interesting. She sent me a recording of a distress signal she'd scraped from the Groundbreaker's comm array. Curious thing is, it came from an outpost called Roseway. And Auntie Cleo abandoned that place years ago. Hmm. Edna didn't seem to think so. And I trust the dear girl's judgment. Well, maybe not in men, but she knows her comms. So, like as not, someone's been down there recently. And if someone set up shop in Roseway, I'd wager they got something to hide. I appreciate a man who knows one when he hears it. If you should find a secret worth selling, might be I could find a buyer. Corporate bigwigs will pay top bit for inside information on their competitors. The more we got the corpse fighting each other, the less time they got to meddle in our affairs. Neither do mine, dearie. Old Gladys knows the value of good work. You'll be compensated accordingly, I can promise you that. A key in bits, I'm guessing. Should you find yourself responding to a certain distress call, and in so doing find yourself in possession of certain valuable corporate secrets, well, then we ought to have a chat over a pot of tea and my famous cookies. Law bless your atoms. Here's a copy of the SOS recording complete with the coordinates. Don't forget to come find old Gladys when you're done. I mean, we gotta do that because we need that key, baby. We need that key. Want a charming copper kettle off? All right, whoops. Mock apple. A very, very magical salvager's helper gone. It's, it's way too expensive for me. Mod tools, though. I'm gonna buy these guys. Yeah, let's get all of them. Could come in handy. All right, um, sounds good. Can we talk? Yeah, what's up, Vicar? Captain, if I could trouble you for a moment of your time, while we're on the Groundbreaker, I may have an idea for how we could find a translator. Do we need one? Oh, your, your book! I've been thinking on that. There's a former so uh, infamous philosopher scholar who fled Terra 2 some years ago. He's an expert on Bakonu. He's also who told me of the journal's presence in Emerald Vale. If anyone in this colony could translate that book, it would be him. Okay. The only one I'm aware of. I suppose we could always just ask random passers-by if they are fluent in it. Nah, that seems, uh... <laughs> yeah, I'm the captain, you're only to be smart. <laughs> A thousand pardons, my good captain. I thought we were engaging in witty repartee. Listen, now, Vicar. As far as tracking down this, gotta scholar, chill out a little bit here, buddy, before I dump you out of the ship. We're in the perfect place to start. This is where I'd go if I wanted to get off Terra Two. Great place to pick up a ride to Hephaestus, Scylla, even Monarch. All I need is access to a data cartridge from the security terminal. Their easily hackable system keeps a registry of all crew manifests for both arrivals and departures. It's interesting how such what. I perceive to be a small space already has like four side quests. 
Before I transferred to Edgewater, I had a wealth of time to develop certain, uh, secular skills during my years serving a particular penitentiary flock. I meditated, led sermons, provided guidance to the inmates as needed, of course. I also played prison yard tossball and taught myself a bit about computronic security systems. Interesting. Thank you, Captain. Thank you, Vic. I'll put your helmet back on. All right, so we've got groundbreaker security. Info. Okay, our ship. We we gotta go talk to Udna Bedford. We don't have ten thousand bids, so we can check the bounty board to make work. We can also go to find Captain. No, that's Captain Erion. Distress that ah, roseway landing pad. That looks kind of cool. Um, okay, so for now, let's focus on talk to Udom Bedford, I guess. Cross the way. It's probably the best thing to do at this point. I really thought it was just be like a quick in, quick out place, but it's, it's another big location in a very expansive, surprising, awesome game. Let's go to Halcyon. I'm guessing this dude's going to be a lot more formal than anyone we've seen. Absolutely. All right, Pravati's just gonna chill behind us. The board and its agents would be more content sitting at the top of the system's food chain as they are. Hello, sir. Ah, yes. Wheeler messaged me you were coming. He must be the captain of the Unreliable, a vessel that used to be helmed by one Alex Hawthorne. And you are not he. Has something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? Um. Turn in Phineas Wells. What the heck? Why? I impounded Alex's ship, not yours. Well, I guess it's yours now if you're captaining it. It's a, a game we play, he and I. Yeah? I ask him to turn in Phineas Wells. He tells me he will soon. I impound his ship. He explains why he can't give me the info right now. I ask him to turn in Wells. Around and around we go. Sounds like a sad merry girl, my dude. This is terrible. My dear friend, what devilry is this? In whose miserable fever dream am I trapped? <sighs> oh, Alex. There were so many arguments we'd yet to have. He was my dearest friend. My only friend. You have his ship, you must know. That picture of us on the promenade, me hugging him, him wincing. I keep a copy beside my bed. Did he? I don't know what you're really talking about, but yeah, sure. We never talked and we crushed him, but sure. Ah, <sighs> that's just like him. Such a sentimental man. Tell me, how did he die? Um. Um. No. How dreadful. That was always Alex's greatest fear, you know. Good guess, my dude. Devoured by those fiends. Becoming one with their... Their droppings. Well, I'm very sorry about my ship, though. Fine. You're free to go. I've removed the impound order on your ship. Heck but yeah. But before you go, I did have one request. Alex promised to tell me the location of Phineas Wells. I'm sure you've seen his wanted posters all over the colony. No. Did Alex tell you where Wells might be? Why is he wanted? Because he's trying to Anything wake up Hope? At all? That's gotta be it, right? You haven't read the posters. He's a terrorist. He's a terrorist? A, thief, a madman. It's really in the colony's best interest that we stop him before he does further harm. Huh, really now? That's... Uh, well, that's just terrible news. Oh, what am I going to do now? The board will have my head. Oh, I'm sorry. This is terribly unprofessional of me. Is there anything else I might help you with? Um... Why is the board going to have your head? It's personal business, I'm afraid. Uh, miserably, terribly personal. Maybe it's the mustache. Information on the whereabouts of Phineas Wells would go a long way. All right. It's fine. Now, if you've nothing... Alright, peace out. Don't really want to reveal Phineas Wells as of yet, so... He unimpounded our ship, but I still need the nav key. 
These parts are around here. The radiator. Um. Ooh. The back bays. <sighs> so much to do. My crew is not as cool as we get the Moon Man helmet, but this game is rocking. If you guys enjoy and want to see more, definitely smash that like button. Let me know in the comments down below. Hope you're having fun today. Cannot wait to continue. Outer Worlds is out of this world thus far, and that makes me so freaking happy. A lot to do, a lot to see. We'll take it all on when we return. Until time, thanks so much for watching, everybody. Drink so much chocolate. And until next time, we'll see you all later.